In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy animated pop-up effect. To begin, I just added a video clip and an image to my timeline. Let's start by selecting our image on the timeline and going up to Effect Controls. Position the time at the start of your image. Then change the scale's value to 0. Click the stopwatch toggle next to scale to create a starting keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard 5 times to move the time head 5 frames to the right. Then change the scale to 120 to create the second keyframe. Press the right arrow key 3 times to move the time head another 3 frames to the right. Change the value to 95 to create your third keyframe. Press the right arrow key 3 more times and change the scale value to 100 to create the last keyframe. And now when I play this back, we have a nice looking pop effect. If you want to make it a little smoother, click and drag to select all of your keyframes and then right click one of them. Select Continuous Bezier. Alright, I think that looks a little better. Keep in mind that you can play around with the amount of space between keyframes to speed up or slow down the effect. The main thing you want to take away here is how I made the animation by increasing the scale, decreasing it, and then slightly increasing it again to give it a bounce. Now if you want to pop your text back in, you would just do the same keyframed animation but in reverse. Move the time head to where you want to pop back in your text. Click the little circle between the two keyframe arrows to create a keyframe for the current scale. Press the right arrow key three times to move the time head three frames to the right. Change the scale's value to 95. Press the right arrow key another three times and change the scale to 120. Press the right arrow key three more times and then change the scale to zero. And now we have our text popping in and then back out. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.